What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and iOS 14.0.1 was just released, guys. And basically, this is an update that you do not want to get, and I'm going to be explaining why. So long story short, this update is literally just bug fixes and improvements. And you might be wondering, why is that bad? Why shouldn't you get that, right? That seems like, like an update everyone should get. Let me explain why. So long story short, all this update does is it basically fixes a bug that lets you set your Safari no longer as your default browser. You can now set Google Chrome as your default browser, whereas before that was an option, but it was super laggy. So now that's fixed. You can now have like Google Chrome as your default browser, but they also fixed an issue with the camera app. But that's not, that's not at all what I want to talk about in this video. This is a much more bigger issue. So if you do not know, um, if you love customizing your home screen using widgets and things like that, you would basically understand that you can get so much customization when it comes to iOS 14 with the home screen and all the really cool widgets that it has to offer, right? Um, but something that's crazy is there's a jailbreak that was just released, the check rain jailbreak, and long story short, it only works on 14.0 as of now. So if you get this update, you will not be able to jailbreak your iOS 14 device. And if you love customization, you know, for example, with iOS 14, you're going to have to basically use Siri shortcuts every single time that you want to open up an app. It's so annoying. You're going to have to use those fake app icons. Whereas with a jailbreak, you can legitimately change the app icons and you don't have to deal with any slow animations. You can also change the page transitions. You can change the shape of the apps without having to use shortcuts. There are so many cool benefits with a jailbreak. And by updating to 14.0.1, you are basically locking yourself out of all that potential. This is something that you guys should really think about because I know a lot of people that might be watching this video might not even be familiar with the fact that there's a jailbreak out for iOS 14. So I'll leave the link down below for the Check Rain website so that way you guys can go ahead and take a look at that. I also have a video explaining a little bit more about the iOS 14 check rain jailbreak, and it's already released. So I'll leave a video link down below so that you guys can learn a little bit more about it. So yeah, this is just a warning video letting you guys know that you probably shouldn't update if you love the home screen customization so that way you can jailbreak your iPhone. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos are on your way, and as always, peace.